Hi, my name is Beth, and I'm from California, and I'm a Republican. Well, let's say I used to be a Republican. I have been voting for many years. I'm 61 years old, and the year that I turned 18 was my first chance to vote, and I voted Republican proudly. I was raised in a Republican family, and for my entire life, I've believed in the policies and agreed with a lot of Republican views. Several terms back, I started to take a look at who my Republican friends were and also who some of my Democratic friends were. And I realized that I was starting to change in what I believed. And I definitely was changing in who I thought should be running our country. But each year, or each four years, when it was finally time for me to cast my vote, at the last minute, I always chose Republican. I did in 2016 too, and I've regretted that ever since. That night, watching the polls come in, I was shocked that Donald Trump was actually going to win the presidency. Even though I voted for him, I really thought Hillary was going to be the one who would be leading our country. I knew then that I was never going to take my vote for granted again, and that I was always going to vote for who I felt was the best person to lead. There's no way I would ever think that Trump would be the best person to lead. I have been so disappointed in his leadership style, and I have been completely shocked by the name calling and the disrespect he shows for so many people who actually love America and who want to see America continue to be strong on the global stage. I, it didn't take me long to realize that Trump is the fake news. It's shocking, but the things that he calls fake news are the truth and the stuff that he calls the truth is the fake news. It's really sad. It's hard to believe that someone like Donald Trump could be at the top of our nation. I am going to do everything I can to make sure that Trump does not win again. I do live in California, so I realize that at the end of the polls, our delegates are going to be choosing Biden. I am pleased as I can be with that choice. I haven't changed who sends me their information, but I have to tell you this year when I started getting the Republican um, surveys, I was really stunned at the questions that they were asking. The last survey that I received did not say one word about race relations in America. I, I, was, I was stunned because that was after George Floyd lost his life. And it was after countless Americans stood up in protest, in peaceful protest. But still, they didn't make enough difference to even be on the Republican survey. That to me is sad. I want to have a voice. I want there to be other voices in America than just one. I want to see our nation come together. And I want to see our nation be strong. And yeah, be great. And that can only happen with Biden in the White House. I'm sure every one of you don't need me to remind you that this year the vote is so important and there can only be one choice, Biden for the win.